friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new either way i am so so happy to have you here today because today we are doing a whole house clean with me i'm starting today's cleaning video in my son's room i need to get it all picked up and then i really need to organize the books on his cube storage i've been putting it off for so long now and today's the day and then i need to change his bedding so that he can have some nice fresh sheets to sleep in tonight then i'm going to go ahead and get the clothes put away that are in this room so i have tons of laundry motivation coming up in today's ultimate clean with me i will also be deep cleaning my bathroom some more there will be kitchen cleaning as as always and i also need to get the lounge room and play area cleaned up so give me a thumbs up if you are ready to tackle this real life mess with me something is behind the clouds we just have to believe it that we can make the sun come out let us lose ourselves in a fairy tale who can say what's wrong or So I always like to have a nice freshly made bed to put the clothes on while I go ahead and fold and hang up all that washing. It just gives me a nice clean slate to work with. But one major reason that I get so annoyed at myself when I'm behind on the laundry is the wrinkles in the clothes. For now, it's not such a big deal as we aren't out of the house as often as we usually would be with the pandemic and majority of the wrinkles clear up once they are hung up in the cupboard for a while. So it's not really a big issue and it's not noticed too much at the moment. But one thing I've found that works if I don't want to iron them and we are going out somewhere all of a sudden, I just spray them down quickly with a little bit of water and then I throw them in the dryer for 10 minutes while I get ready. And that really is the quickest way that I find to get those wrinkles out. But otherwise I do just try to get the washing put away as soon as it's dry. Yes, I'm just too scared to settle down There'd be many nights I got too high And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say
another amazing laundry hack that I love that makes hanging clothes super quick and easy is just laying the clothes out flat in a pile that you are going to be hanging up. And then with all of the collars lined up, it just makes it so easy that if you just go ahead and grab a huge pile of hangers and just go one by one, folding each top over as you go. And it's just so quick. And honestly, it really does make hanging clothes out a little bit fun. From the first time I saw ya, you were not like the others, a cool kind of melody. You rattled my cage without warning, kept it upright till the morning, a new kind of ecstasy. You found a different side of me, the one I'd like to be, a different side of me, yeah. So the next room that I wanted to get cleaned up today is the bathroom. So I have recently given this bathroom a deep clean, but it still constantly gets messy. Unless I clean this house five times a day, then it's always going to look like this by the end of the day, just because it is used a lot, just like the kitchen. We do have the bedtime routine. They do use the bathroom every single day for a bath. So it does get messy, especially with two toddlers. There's a lot of toys and things like that. And it's usually such a quick pickup at the end of the day though. So it's not normally a big issue, but but both of my kids have mild eczema so we do tend to use oil-based washes rather than the soap ones which does tend to create a dark ring around the bath pretty often so I do like to give the bath a scrub once or twice a week to avoid getting a really big buildup in there but I've also noticed lately that the sink isn't draining as well and every single time this happens in the shower or the bathroom sinks if you're anything like me and shed hair worse than a dog then it's probably blocked up with hair so I have this little makeshift coat hanger hook that I use to get it out and so far every single time it just clears the drains perfectly to be a different side of me yeah Nothing 
could stop us Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, get yeah, over the hillside It's alright, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back so this next room that I'm cleaning is the dining room slash turned into a playroom that we just created for the kids to have just a little area that they can play in. We don't have enough bedrooms in this house to have a playroom, a dedicated room just for a playroom. So we did sell the dining table and turn this room into a play area for them. But if you are new here and you haven't seen it yet, I did go ahead and give this room a bit of a makeover a few videos ago. I will leave that linked in the description box down below if you did want to see that one. But this this cube storage was an absolute disaster. It didn't look good at all. There was just toys thrown everywhere and it just wasn't well put together. So I did go ahead and get a lot of like matching containers and storage cubes that you'll see here, these gray ones. And so far they have been working out really great. I haven't cleaned this area in a little while, these cubes, probably since I did that video. So they are getting a little bit messy and a little bit cluttered, but today I'm just going ahead and taking all those cubes out and wiping down those shelves. It's funny how much dust and hair accumulates on these shelves even though they are you know up and out of the way it's just as bad as the floors I find when I get the vacuum out I really need to wipe and vacuum down these shelves as well especially because they are white it's so visible and easy to see from a distance especially the bottom shelves they are really bad and they do build up a lot so I just wanted to get in there with my microfiber cloth and some of my method all-purpose spray in the lavender scent and just give them a really good deep clean in today's video So next, I really needed to tackle this kitchen and get this kitchen clean. It's usually impossible to get this done while my youngest is awake. So I usually wait until after dinner to clean. And also because otherwise I just create more dishes at dinner time too. So I just like to get them all done at once. And on this night in particular, my partner was giving the kids a bath. So I was able to clean straight after dinner. Hence why I'm using the oven mitt to clean around the plates as they were still super hot. And I've burnt myself on them once before and it's not fun at all. <laughs> Between the jars and bottle jug Just me and all the red lights Keep on driving
daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. So if you are new here, I just wanted to take a second to introduce myself quickly. My name is Katrina Marie and I'm a mum to two toddlers. I've been on YouTube for over a year now, making all kinds of homemaking videos over on my other channel, Mama Cat. But very recently, I created this second cleaning channel to share all kinds of cleaning videos with you all every single week, including satisfying deep cleaning, speed cleaning motivation, all day clean with me's whole house clean with me videos, room transformations, plenty of laundry motivation, small DIY house updates, extreme cleaning motivation, and plenty of real life messes over here. So if you love watching house cleaning videos as much as I do, I hope you decide to stick around and hit that subscribe button and be sure to turn on the bell notifications to all so that you don't miss an upload from me. I would love to have you coming back here every single week and I would also love to get to know you. So if you like, go ahead and leave a comment down below introducing yourself and letting me know where you are from. This is one of the main things I love about having this platform is that I can make friends from all over the world and I just think that is super cool. Down, be a little water, baby, kick your shoes off. You don't have to hide it. Baby, let your head down. If you could pick one room that self cleans itself, which one would it be? I would love to know in the comments down below. Mine is 100% the kitchen. I do think that having a dishwasher one day could possibly change my mind though. If you are a returning subscriber, you would know already that I don't have one and sometimes the dishes can take forever. So long that today my camera battery went flat so I didn't get to film all of the dishes but I made sure to leave a nice after shot at the end of the kitchen clean before moving on to the lounge room. I wanted to give you plenty of all day speed cleaning motivation in today's video. So I spent all day cleaning the whole house between putting the kids down for naps and feeding them 5,000 meals. This literally became an all day clean. I usually save the lounge room until they are in bed though. Otherwise they just follow behind me like mini tornadoes messing it all up again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick everything up in here before giving the floors a quick vacuum. And then I'll be emptying out the vacuum cleaner. So be sure to stick around to the end to see that. I haven't emptied out the vacuum in over a month and it was filthy. Deep cleaning the vacuum has been added to my never ending to-do list now because as you will see soon, it is in desperate need of a deep clean.
really do hope that you enjoyed today's cleaning motivation video. It is not over yet, so stick around till the end, but I would appreciate it so much if you could leave a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and be sure to subscribe before you leave today. All those things really do help out my channel so much, and without all of you watching my videos, I wouldn't be able to work from home and stay close to my babies, so I really appreciate it more than you could ever know, and I really do hope that you all are having a really great, productive week, and I'll see you back here very soon with some brand new speed cleaning motivation. Good. Good. I guess I can't help myself.